Grandmama, it's looking squashy in here. <laughs> oh, I'm back again, y'all. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Own Pantry. Today, we are going to be making a gluten-free uh, squash casserole, and it is so good. You do not miss the uh, gluten that you put in. Like, most people put like saltine crackers or bread crumbs, something like that. But this one, you don't even miss it. It's so good. So I'm going to salt my uh, squash. Now, don't put too much because you can over salt squash and you can certainly over pepper. It takes very little pepper for squash. And I don't know the reason for that, but it does. All right. Now, in this. This is some squash that I froze. We got out of the garden this year, and so I froze them, and then I took them out and steamed them for a little while just to get them tender. And I have sauteed. Now, I like to saute my onions before I put them in my casserole. Uh, to me, they just are sweeter. You get a sweeter onion flavor if you do that. So that was two small onions, about probably that size. All right. Now to this, I am going to go ahead and add, now this is a very simple recipe. It's just got mayo, eggs, butter, salt, pepper, onions, and cheese. But it is delicious. Uh, so I'm going to guesstimate my mayo. That's... uh. That right there is probably a half a cup, so I'll stir it up and uh, see if I think I need more. And my squash is still kind of hot, so I wanted to put my mayo in before I put my eggs because I didn't want to cook my eggs. So um, that's just a little little tip. If you're using hot veggies, cool it off with mayo, milk, whatever, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom soup, whatever you're putting in yours. Okay, that looks like plenty to me. Now, in my dish here, I've got a half a stick of butter that I have melted, and I'm just rolling it up on the sides. Uh, so my casserole won't stick to it, and it'll be easy to clean. Okay, stir that up. Now, I have beat my eggs, and I just, you know, you know how to beat eggs. So, I'm going to use this spoon. I just swung mayo on my cabinet door. Oh, well, Roy, clean it up for me. <laughs> Won't you, baby? I will. <laughs> All right. I think there's a little zucchini in here, too. I think I'm seeing a little zucchini. All right, just stir this up really good. Now it's going to, she told me years ago that I could be the boss if she could make up the rules. <laughs> and then I could boss the rules. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's see. Mayo, uh, salt, pepper, onions, eggs. Okay, now time for the cheese. Now I've got two different kinds of cheese in here. i got pepper jack and I've got sharp. Cheddar. You can use extra sharp cheddar if you like. Uh, but I just had sharp in the fridge. Okay, and that's probably a cup, a good cup inside. Now, if you like it really, really cheesy, add more cheese to yours. Add any kind of cheese you want. You can do uh, mozzarella, uh, Parmesan. You can do uh, Havarti. I mean, there's all kinds of cheeses. That uh, that you can use in it, but to me, I find that cheddar works the best. And I've got my oven preset on 350 degrees, and it's gonna cook until probably well everything in here is done except the eggs, and it doesn't take eggs long to cook. So uh, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna cook it until my cheese. I'm gonna put cheese on top. Now a lot of people put cracker crumb crust, but this is gluten free, so we're just doing cheese. We're going to cover the top. This is a simple, easy, easy recipe. But it's every bit as good, if not better. Than that. Okay, I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven and we're going to cook it for about 30 minutes until our cheese gets toasty brown. I'll be back in a minute. Our squash casserole is ready. It's hot, oh, it's hot. 
But I want to show it to y'all. How beautiful. Look at that. Mm -mm. That looks good. I hope it's as good as it looks. Oh, it will be. It will be. I'm and chewing deer steak. We had, Look at that. <laughs> we had back, back strap in mm. the freezer, and it's just cut in little old bitty pieces, like little old bitty, like chunks. Uh, little, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's I just deep delicious. fried it. It only takes like two or three minutes. I'll take that on my side. <laughs> Because it's so thin, so I fried a whole bunch of that, and we've got squash casserole. So I want to, we want to taste this squash casserole for you. And if you will make it by this recipe, the texture is absolutely perfection. It is perfect. It's low carb and no sugar and no no gluten. Gluten. Look at that. Mmm. You see that? Mmm. So good. You got my fork. I always eat with a little fork. I cannot stand to put a big fork in my mouth. <laughs> I always eat with a little fork, a mini fork. I don't see why that mouth would be hurt by a big fork. <laughs> okay, baby. We got to taste. It's hot now, y'all. Real hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No oh, yeah. cream of mushroom soup. No cream of chicken soup. Just good. Ma'am, you taste those onions and they're sweet because I sauteed them some. Oh my goodness, y'all. You gotta make this one. Now, if you've never made a squash casserole like this, you don't have all those extras in it. You taste the squash, you taste the onions. You can taste the mayo a little bit, the cheese. This is a straight squash casserole. Mmm. 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 No. That is so good. Healthy? Mm-hmm. Very healthy. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in healthy <clears throat> food. And this is a very healthy dish. It's something healthy you can have on your uh, Christmas table. Because there are going to be, there may be people becoming that are gluten free, and uh, so and this is a really good one. Uh, Y'all share this video, leave me a comment, let me know where you're watching from, and give me a thumbs up. Love y'all. See you next See you time. Later.